Hey there Aquarius, how are you? We're going to get started on your tarot reading for the month of September. Aquarius, this is your love reading. I am using the Hermit Tarot for you today. My dear Aquarius, how's it going, Aqua? How's it going? Aquarius, Holy Spirit, what insight, foresight, guidance, revelations do we have for the zodiac sign of Aquarius this time around this month of uh, this month of September in their love life? Let's see what is that? It's a yes. What? Look at that. Yes. Yes. So yes, overall, I mean, that's something very positive. It's a yes, and it's yellow, so solar plexus, it matches like my outfit. Is um, some, is, so it's saying remain positive, remain confident, okay? This is in regards to your love life. Whatever it is, it's something good, it's something positive, okay? It's like a thumbs up. All right, let's see what we have. We have, I am obsessed with your body, okay? If I follow you, I could lose everything. And then here it says, I need time for me. And it says, words do hurt. Wow. And there is someone else. I just want space. All right, guys, so this could be happening now. And again, for many of you, there's, this, there's a timeline here and this is the situation, but for many of you, you're in this timeline, this already happened, but you will be getting, you know, inside of it. And for others of you, you're in it now, it's happening now in the present. And for others of you, this could be uh, unfolding in the near future. So, um, yes, guys, yes, there's a reason for you to remain positive. Yes, there's a reason for you to smile. There, yes, there's a reason for you to be happy. Yes, there's a reason for you to get excited. Just yes, 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 yes. There's a reason. Just know there is a reason. Is there a song? And the reason, and the reason is you. Is you. What song is that? Reach out, what? So for many of you, this could be somebody that you're not, uh, that will be reaching out, is wanting to reach out, wants to reach out. I don't know why I'm doing this, like I'm pointing. Is there somebody that does that? Um, okay, I'm obsessed with your body. So I'm seeing this as somebody that is just like something it is that you should know is that they're very much attracted to you. The, is, this is a devil card and it's the, it's black. So, you know, it's just giving me like a shadow kind of feel. So for many of you, there could be worries here, doubts about somebody like you're, I'm hearing like right now, do they like me? Are they attracted to me? What, you know, like, yes. The answer is yes. Yes, they 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 love your body. They they are very much attracted to you. But that's not to say that this is something physical, okay? But there's I do see some insecurity here, some doubt like about, you know, somebody's physical appearance, body, this fixation. And um I feel like it they're all just worries, shadows. And yes, there is somebody here, okay, yes, that uh, really finds you very attractive. If I follow you, I could lose everything. So this is, there's this fear. This is fear. This is somebody feeling like, this is, this is fear, guys. This could be somebody that has held, held themselves back, is holding themselves back, will be holding themselves back out of fear of losing control. If I follow you, so this could be someone, for example, that purposely like does not pursue you or purposely doesn't do or does something, okay, to like create space because um, there's uh, something inside them that about you, the situation that ha made them, is making them, will be making them a little feel vulnerable. It says, I need time for me. Words do hurt. 
All right, guys, so here for many of you, we have like a situation where somebody has decided, has decided, decided that they're to like distance themselves from you, it, it feels like but not because they don't like you, okay? For many of you, maybe you feel rejected. You feel like, yeah, you, you feel rejected. Maybe you feel like this person just used you for your body or just used you in some way. Many of you could be feeling used. Um, but uh, this person I feel like is doing, did what they did or is doing what they're doing because they're, um, there were, afraid to lose themselves they were afraid to lo lose themselves look it says if i follow you i could lose everything so for many of you there could also be um what did i see here maybe it was maybe it was i'm thinking about something else anyways there could also be a risk here like if the person you know, and being with you and you being with them and just choosing the connection, choosing to be closer, whatever, just choosing the connection in some way, staying in it, uh, was, um, was, or is going to, um, produce some sort of loss in this person's life. So for a selective few, we could be dealing, okay, selective few, a person who, um, could uh, be with somebody else and well in in choosing this connection this relationship they would they would have or will be you know losing a lot okay and that's where we get this i need more time this i need more time i'm hearing is i need more space yeah, guys, so look, there's somebody here. Something it is that you should know is that, guys, we're dealing with somebody, okay? You're dealing with them now. You dealt with them. Others of you, this is an ongoing situation, and this is how it's going to transpire. It's like, yes, yes, there is a connection. Yes, what you're feeling is real. Yes, 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 yes. You see clearly and you know, so yes. Yes, 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 which is for the most part positive, okay? Yes, okay, this person loves your physical body, okay? Yes, they love your physical body. Yes, they think you look great. They think you look beautiful. They think you look handsome. They are attracted to you, yes. Yes, this is something more than physical. If I follow you, I could lose everything. Here we have a situation, guys, where there is somebody that, uh, you know, is is in, I'm hearing in staying or in choosing or not, it's not really that, it's just the circumstances, guys, um, have put them in a position, a situation to lose a lot. So this to me is like a lot of things, okay, to consider. Here we have somebody, okay, that was in a position to just consider a lot. To consider a lot. And well, because of that, they needed more time. They needed more space. And I feel like that really hurt. Words do hurt. Like that really hurt. Somebody's feeling used. Oh, oh. Well, you just wanted me for this, or you used me for that, or, you know, and, and, wow, you, you hurt me, what you said or what you did, it hurt me. Okay, that's the situation, guys. Look, there's somebody here wanting to reach out, guys, who has already reached out, wants to reach out, is thinking about it if it's here. Yeah, so for many of you, this is somebody that asked you, that asked you for space, for time maybe they didn't ask you for it but that's just like what happened you are so beautiful hello didn't i was like talking about that you are so beautiful why do you need me there i'm telling you guys there's somebody that was feeling vulnerable they were faced with you know a lot a lot of things and in, in you know and being with you in this connection and um i just don't feel like they were ready for all that 
you are so beautiful. Look, you need to know that they, they do, they find you attractive. So no, that's not, that's not the reason why. It looks okay, uh, chemistry, uh, uh, tr you know, how attracted, you know, one is to another, like that wasn't an issue, that wasn't the problem. This person also feels like um, there, there was, the dynamics were different here with you and them, they were different because I'm here, and they were different in the way that you don't, you don't need them. You don't need them, you don't need them. Why do you need me? You see, so this person almost felt like useless or they, which, um, yeah, they felt useless or they felt like they could not, uh, they felt insecure. Really, ultimately what that is, they felt insecure. The dynamics, okay, the connection, you and them, there was, there's something different about it. And that is that um, you're, you don't need them. And this doesn't have to be about money. It's just like what he's, what he's, what she or he is used to be like giving. It's not something that you wanted. So I feel like you also made this person, you know, question themselves. I lie away thinking about our future. So here we have somebody, guys, that is uh, actively thinking about you, about talking to you. But look, it says that they're too afraid to talk. I'm too afraid to talk. But they're they're too afraid to talk. We saw the reach out card, didn't we? We saw a reach out. This is a person that's thinking about reaching out. We'll be reaching out, guys. And um, it's because they're thinking about you. And... Um, well, so much so that sometimes I'm hearing before they go to bed, before they go to sleep at night, they're there up thinking about you, about talking to you, what that would be like, fantasizing, but they're afraid. This is not something that I'm hearing. It's not like they could just pick up the phone and call you. It's, you know, it's not that kind of phone call. So uh, I do feel like this person, you know, does think about like... I do feel like that's a problem, guys, like communication, the initial like reconnecting. I feel like that's a problem, excuse me, only because of uh, how weird it may, may feel when it's done. Love is the answer and you matter. Oh my God, look at these two cards. I love these colors and I love the way they came out together. Love is the answer. Love is the answer, guys, and you matter. So you matter means like you matter. Somebody cares about you. Some You might be feeling Aquarius cross, cross watcher. Somebody here is feeling like they they don't matter. Like somebody didn't care about them. Like the, you, they, somebody does care about you. And in fact, somebody loves you, has a lot of love for you. And love is the answer, guys. Love is the answer, which could certainly just mean love is all that matters. All right, so that's kind of like the overall situation here that we're tapping into. Future developments, future developments. How is this going to be transpiring and moving forward? All of that is like, uh, yeah, the situation, guys. What's happening, has happened, is happening right now. So like uh, future, future 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 developments future developments how is this going to be transpiring and moving forward we have i'm sorry i dream about you a lot i'm sorry look somebody is sorry guys about whatever they did or didn't do whatever happened there they're sorry your family won't like me your family won't like me and i dream about you a lot so you see, this is somebody like just really wanting to connect. Like when you're like dreaming about people, I mean, you are, uh, you're, you're really wanting to connect. And I feel like this person is having dreams that are even like encouraging them even like to, to reach out to you, to tell you that they're sorry to talk to you. This person is sorry for whatever that happened. However, they made you feel they're sorry. They didn't mean to do that. 
They didn't mean to do that, but they know they are aware to some degree that they did hurt you, which means what? That they're aware that they did something wrong or something, right? I feel like you're in their mind so much. Look, it says too much. So much so that you're coming into their dreams now even. And your family won't like me. So family could be of significance either. Maybe your family didn't like them. They didn't like your, he, they, she, they, okay, didn't like your family. Or this was just like an insecurity, your family. Maybe this has to do with being different, okay? Your family, okay. Yeah, family is of significance. Family being liked by those that are important in your life and vice versa that is uh was is an issue it's something that this person thinks about like you know if you have children this person is thinking like will their children like me okay or if they have children you could be thinking pisces did i say pisces that's because i just did pisces guys you could be thinking well are they going to like me that happens, guys. I There could be a Pisces here for some of you. That's of significance. I just got done before you. I did Pisces. And that happens a lot where I say the zodiac sign of the sign that I just did before. 13. I sometimes wonder if you care. You see? I sometimes wonder if you care. I imagine you naked. And I feel the same way. And I want you. So something that is really standing out to me about this reading is like you need to know that somebody desires you. You need to know that somebody uh, finds you physically attractive. You need to know that that somebody desires you. Somebody wants you. Somebody f feels, okay, chemistry and attraction to you, like specifically to your body. I feel like some of you need to hear that. I imagine you naked. So that's a strong desire, okay? I sometimes wonder if you care. I feel like this person does wonder. I mean, or at the very least at this point, okay, they or they will wonder like if you care or if you feel the same way. I feel like the both of you feel the same way. You see that number two? Both of you feel the same way. And I feel like to some degree, both of you are wondering and thinking to yourselves, like, do they care about me? Yes, we said at the beginning. Yes, yes, yes. Do they want me? Yes. Do they care about me? Yes. <laughs> Will my family like them? Yes. <laughs> oh. Are they sorry? Yes. You know? Yes, 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 yes. So this is future energy, guys. This is all things. Okay, they're thinking heavily about you. Picturing you in all kinds of scenarios. Okay, sexual and non-sexual okay because i feel like this person is just like heavily thinking about you in all kinds of ways they dream they're even dreaming about you look they're sorry family again your family won't like me this doesn't have to be about family guys family doesn't have to be a factor but this is just talking about like all the things that you know somebody was thinking like they'll like this or they'll like that or this will this this is not gonna turn out this is like all the things that you feel like are not going to turn out right but I do feel like to some degree family it might not even be a factor to you you might not even be thinking about it but it's something that the other person is thinking about it like they just want to be liked and I do sense some differences here um they're wondering if you care as much as they care and uh they feel the same way as they feel the same way like they they feel something for you all right, so that's how things are going to be developing, meaning like all of that that we saw is things you and other person are going to be feeling, energies you guys are going to be encountering, working through. Oh my God, look, we're ending your reading with the yes. We started with the yes. Look, family, I want to start a family with you. Wow. Wow, look, I want to start a family with you. Yes, yeah, so family is important, guys. I need time for me. I just want space. I just want space. This is 
I close the reading with advice, something it is that you should know. This is something it is that you should know. Yeah, this is something you should know. This is advice. Guys, yes, okay, there's something special here. Yes, okay, what it, whatever you're feeling, whatever your gut is telling you, it's solar plexus, it's a yes. Like there's something here. Something advice as well, something it is that you should know is that, look, it can be hurtful when somebody needs space, but you shouldn't take that personal. I feel like that's the message. Like, don't take this personal. Don't, you know, feel like it's your fault. Like, oh, they need space. It's my fault. Like, no, they need a space because there's crap going on in their life. And that's just kind of the way it happened. But it has nothing to do with you. Like, it wasn't because of you. It's just... You know, they needed space. Look, I need time for me. There's somebody here, guys, that um, needed space, created space, and they needed a break, or, or, you know, they just were not ready in, in that moment. Not because they didn't want to, because I feel like they did, like the feeling is, was mutual, but for whatever reason, it's like they needed they needed space and they needed more time, you know, to work through some things in their life, whatever. That's something it is that you should know. Yes, there is a connection. Yes, there is something here. And yes, the reason this happened for many of you is just because this person needed time and they needed time for themselves. It had, you know, nothing to do with you. There's nothing wrong with you. It wasn't because of you or anything you did or didn't do. I think we should slow down. And then here it says, I think we should see other people. I think we should slow down and I think we should see other people. One more card. This is something you should know and this is also advice. All right, you should, you have so many choices and options. I would do anything for you. Yes, I need time for me. I just want space for many of you. Okay, this is somebody you're dealing with and this is just something that's going to be happening. This person needs time. This person needs space and they're going to be slowing down. For many of you, this already happened and this is the reason why it happened. Okay, they just... And yeah, for many of you, it's because this person did was, they're not sure, they're not going to be sure, they weren't sure whether they wanted, you know, to, to, they weren't ready, you know, for, they didn't know what they wanted. And for many of you, there is a person here choosing, okay, this is for those of you that are seeing this person already, and this is kind of things that are transpiring for others of you, this is something that already happened, and it's just giving you clarity. I think we should see other people. So I do see somebody else here, guys. Like if you were, you know, this already happened for many of you. For others of you, this is happening now, will be happening, transpiring, unfolding. Somebody needed space, okay. They needed more time. They weren't sure. And pretty much this manifested as them seeing other people. Okay, and um, look, you have so many choices. You have so many options. So um, that's that's pretty much happened here, guys. And look, something that I need to tell you is like it has nothing to do with you. You know, there's just somebody here who's just not sure about, you know, it's not just, it's not sure. And they need a little more time to figure out exactly what it is, perhaps what they're feeling or what it is that they want. And I do feel like there's another person here that's going to help them figure that out. I think we should see other people. And look, there's somebody here like, you know what is, we, this needs to slow down. And there's somebody here, look, so many choices and options and they don't really know. So this is a conflict, like, okay, like, what do I really want? So that's what we see here, guys. There's just somebody and that could be hurtful, right? Like when somebody like, oh, you're not sure about me, you know, and then that a lot of people take that and they feel bad about themselves because they feel like I must be missing something. Like, why do they feel this way? There must be something wrong with me. No, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. It's just this person. 
what they have going on in their life, what they don't have going on. It's just so many different factors that have nothing to do with you. Uh, the best advice that I have for you guys here is if this has already happened is, you know, don't, uh, don't, um, if this already happened, don't hold this against somebody for, you know, you could forgive somebody. They, they didn't mean to hurt you. I feel like genuinely they just were not in the right space, whatever. And, and again, it has nothing to do with you. And if it hurts you, it, it's because there's a wound within you that, that, that is being, um, that is being affected, you know, it's, it's the, if you feel pain and it's something you can't really, you feel like you were rejected, like I can't, you know, it's, it's a wound. Okay. It's, it's a wound there guys that needs healing. This person didn't mean to do that. It had nothing to do with you. Okay. It just things, nothing you did wrong. In fact, you see there, it's like, they think about you, they find you attractive. It's like they, they desire you and, and, and all those things. It's just, you see, it's not you. For many of you, you're thinking, what's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. For many of you, this already happened and that's how you've been feeling. Allow this experience to, um, um, to, to, to enlighten you, to, to show you the places in, you know, the places in you that need healing. Now, for others of you, this is something that is transpiring now, will be happening. The, what advice I could give you is, you know, just give somebody space, give somebody the time it is that they need. And, and you know, don't, um, don't, it's not your fault. Know that it's not your fault. And also, you know, don't hold this against somebody like, when you don't hold this against somebody. We all, we all find our, we've all been in, in positions where we, we don't know what we want, okay? So, um, that's, that's that guys. That's that. I need more balance where I need more balance for many of you. This could be a Libra. It doesn't have to be, I need more balance to me. It's just like, there's like some things that need to be worked through and guys. And once, you know, once this person will figure out the answer they're looking for, there's just somebody here that needs some time to figure themselves out. And, uh, for many of you, um, this person will be figuring that out. And I do see them talking to somebody else, but if, essentially, eventually I do see them realizing that other person helped helping them realize, you know what I do, I do want to be with Aquarius. I do. And again, not holding that against anybody guys. We all deserve, you know, to, to have a choice and, and we all sometimes need a, some time to figure things out. I need more balance. There's somebody at this moment. Okay. This person will get to the point where they will be drinking a lot. I need more balance. There's just a, a lot of things. Okay. That somebody needs time to work through. And I do see them working through those things, um, in time and, uh, with space. And for many of you, this is hurtful, but again, you know, if this is something very painful for you guys, it's, it's, do know that this is an experience that is helping you, uh, bring awareness to wounds that you have that need healing. All right, guys, closing message for you, Aquarius, closing message. This is the Dream Decoder deck. It is a dream oracle. Not a, it, yeah, it's just dream interpretation, but I'm using it as a, an oracle message. So let's see, closing message for Aquarius. If you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. We have superhero powers. All right. Dreams in which you have superhero or magical powers are typical of childhood, but you can have them at any age. Perhaps you're faced with malevolent forces, but discover you have a supernatural ability to resolve the conflict, whether strength, fight, telepathy, x-ray vision, or clairvoyance. Generally, such a dream suggests that you're tackling some kind of problem in waking life and would prefer it 
if the issue just magically disappeared. However, an alternative is that there's some hidden talent or potential within yourself you need to discover and develop. Being invisible may seem like a super power, but it can also be a sign you feel ignored or neglected in waking life or feel your life is insignificant to others. The dream is urging you to be more assertive or self-motivated. The opponent the opponent in a superhero dream may be a rival in love or work or perhaps an aspect of yourself superhero powers so the superhero powers to me like i'm seeing it right now is just like you knowing that you are strong enough to like you, you need to know that you're strong enough as well as for many of you this is an experience that has or will be helping you discover uh, your 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 strengths uh, super powers uh, abilities okay talents that you didn't even know you you had so that is something positive i'm being reminded of that yes card so it's important to remain positive guys to see the positive in the situation because this experience for many of you is meant okay to be a positive one in the way of helping you discover and, and develop uh, yourself in, in a way that you wouldn't have otherwise castles ancient buildings and tombs a castle like a house can be interpreted as the ego or your inner world however castles were built specifically to protect seeing one in a dream suggests you need to put up barriers perhaps someone or something has the potential to overwhelm you perhaps you've built your defenses already if so are they protecting or imprisoning you some of you may have really strong strong boundaries and it's just bringing attention to that okay they might be too weak they might be too strong again we saw that i need balance or need for balance card there do you know that that's on both sides any other okay where are we with any ancient structure perhaps there's a reference to time your dreaming mind could be urging you to look to the past for inspiration or guidance any kind of tomb or memorial might suggest that someone who has died or belongs to your past can inspire you or you might have buried a part of yourself that you need to either bring back to life or leave behind and mourn you may also need to resolve your feelings about the inability the inability sorry of death okay and here it says social media online communication so online social media could be of significance guys yeah instagram facebook youtube communication via messenger app so um this could be did we see the reach out card somebody could be reaching out on social media i mean email as well somebody's looking at profile pictures okay in general these kinds of dreams suggest a desire to expand your online network or to either reconnect with people from your past or seek out new horizons if you dream of changing your profile photo or page this indicates that you want to control the way other people see you or may already be doing so if you find yourself scrolling aimlessly or being directed to the same web page repeatedly perhaps you're spending too much time online gaining likes or new online followers may reflect the feeling that you're worthy of others approval whereas losing friends or followers may indicate that you can't or won't confirm conform to the expectations placed upon you by friends family and society social media so again online communication guys is of significance this is what i have for you my dear aquarius thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you as always truly it was an honor and my pleasure you guys take care okay bye bye